Unto the morrow. Now, assuming thou intendest to continue thy tour, might I suggest Sliver Bow as thy next destination? The task of tidying up one's abode is seldom light work, yet I suspect the strollers is heavier than most. Suffice it to say, a pair of helping hands might not go amiss. Yeah. I suspect this is going to be uh, pretty emotional as well. Estola and Rune are saying goodbye. I could do. Can I sell stuff to you? Or do you just mend? No, you just mend. And what is this? Have you come to spy on me? Does Louis Angers truly think me so slovenly? The nerve. Nerve as I am to disappoint, I put my affairs in order some time ago. I've even made my farewells. To everyone, save Runar, that is. He is nowhere to be seen. Of course. If we can't find him, we can't say goodbye. And Master Matoya. A flower. For too long I have remained silent, but no longer. I could not bear it if you were to leave. Please stay. I beg of you. Oh. Runa, please. I jest, at least in part. What I came to say is this. Thank you. Without your wisdom, your strength, and your kindness to guide us, our people would still be lost. We will never forget you, Master Matoya. Wherever your journeys may take you, you will always be in our hearts. You silly lion. <laughs> and you in mine. Remember that your people's journey, that our people's journey is yet ongoing. Your lives will change, and so too will your dreams. Yet come what may, you need not forsake your time-honored traditions, nor less your beliefs. But neither should you be beholden to them, for it is with curiosity and courage that the Knights Blessed first triumphed over adversity. New knowledge and new wisdom are ever worthy of pursuit. Indeed they are. And so, until we return to the Sunless Sea, we shall endeavor to live our lives to the fullest. That is well. But however great your strides, there may yet come a day when the challenges you face cannot be surmounted alone. On such a day... On such a day? You may call on me. <laughs> Since a means to travel between worlds exists, you can be sure I will find a way to employ it. <laughs> of course she will. And there remain so many mysteries here that want for solving. Oh, Stola. <laughs> Master Matoya. Uh-oh. <laughs> Runa, really? Oh, bless. Oh, I, but the Thancred and Reen stuff 
is gonna be please take good care of master matoya see that she eats well and wraps up warm on cold days and uh there is a herbal tea which she enjoys keep her close even the strongest among us should not be alone honestly he's a boy in the body of a man <sighs> anyway it is time we headed back to the crystarium shall we You still have to take the XR to Nebetharang? Well, let's see. Very well, you can look in on Thanquid while you're about it. His will be a difficult farewell. I'm sure he would appreciate your support. The path goes through Twine. If you wait there, you are likely to meet him on his way back, if not before. Bye, guys. Do, do, do. Hello, friends. Hey, you too. What is this? My bloody name day. I see, I see. Yes, Thancred was here and Reen too. As I said, they wanted to go to Navatharang, so... We gave them the use of the trolley. That's right. The old girl's up and running again. But we didn't just put her back together, mind you. Now, uh, with a little bit of help from Master Chai, we made her faster and stronger. Oh, yes. The future of trolleys is looking brighter than ever. Whisper it. I reckon it might be time. Time to reach for the stars with a trolley to draw full trolleys. If you ask me, we'd be better off making them smaller. That way they can fit in narrow shafts. But that that's genius. Why didn't I think of that? Enough. You can daydream in your own time. In case you've forgotten, our priority is to have more working trolleys. That's why we turned to Chinese, by the way. Not to make the one trolley we've got go faster. We need help getting a few towers back in working order, see? We were out testing them when your airship came down, as a matter of fact. You seem to have a habit of crashing things. Not my fault. We're back. Uh, thanks for the loan of the trolley. Hi, guys. Demogen, what are you doing here? Don't tell me the others are waiting for us. That's a relief. At any rate, we've done what we came to do, which means I'm ready to leave. Or as ready as I'll ever be. Not to pry, but what's going on? You off somewhere? You could say that. Yep. So, you're heading home. I'm just a simple miner, and I... Don't know much about this world traversing business. But the young lady here. Should be looked after, will she? I'll be fine, thank you. I have a place to stay at the Crystarium and don't want for anything. Besides which, I've recently made a new friend. Her name is Gaia, and she'll always be there if I need her. Just like you lot. So please don't worry. I'll be fine, really. If you say so. It being a matter of life and death, I suppose you have to leave. But I, for one, would still be torn. If the choice were mine, I'm not sure I could bear to be parted from my family. No, but it's for the best. Veen has chosen to walk her own path, and she doesn't need me under her feet. Besides, I have my own responsibilities, and I'd be setting a very good example if I neglected them. I wouldn't be setting a very good example if I neglected them. Hmm, perhaps not. Is the fair? I wish you your dilemma. I envy your dile you your dilemma. Well then, young lady, if there's anything you need, anything at all, you're to call on us. It may surprise you, but we can do more than simply offer you trolley rides. Thank you, Magnus. Everyone. Ciao.
shall we then? If we know where left to visit, we can go back to the Crystallium together. That was surprisingly less painful than I expected. But I suppose they've had a long time to make their peace with that. Unless... Unless we're going to get the big emotional scene now. And this assumes it even works properly. Because there's still time for just a little bit more Shadowbringers tragedy. Oh, it's you. You're probably wondering I'm, why I'm not with the others. Uh, it's just, I always knew that everyone would leave one day. And I always hoped and prayed that we'd find a way to send them home, but... Now that the time has come, I just feel lost. Lost and lonely. I don't want our last moments to go to be sad. I want to hold myself together just long enough to say the things that I need to say. But I'm not sure I can even do that. You can do it, Reen. Right. Thank you, Demogen. I feel braver already. Go on ahead and join the others. I'll be long after I've taken a few deep breaths. I guess this is it. I thought it would be easier after saying farewell, but each step I took out of Yulmore felt heavier than the last. I did everything I could in the time I had. No regrets. I took the liberty of informing the Christaeum's leaders of our imminent departure. It seemed only right. Uh, there you are. I trust the Exarch had a pleasant tour of the realm. Right. Here we go then. That's everyone then. We've all said what we needed to. Even as we speak, Becklug undertaketh their final inspection of our spirit vessels. When thine own preparations for the journey are complete, thou art to present thyself in the ocular. Am I just sticking them in my pockets? Um, everyone? I want to thank you all, on behalf of the first. You, and Minfilia, and the Exarch. Without each and every one of you guiding us, fighting for us, we wouldn't be standing here now. There wouldn't even be a here. And no words can express our gratitude. We have done a lot. I mean, literal world-saving stuff. Not like freeing a nation or ending a war. We have literally we still have saved. have a lot to do. Countless trials to overcome. But if it ever seems too much, I'll think of our time together. The happy moments and the sad. I will remember it all. And it will give me the strength to carry on without you. Because you made me who I am. Minfilia. Reen. To honor these names and these memories. I will stand with all the people of this land and strive for a better tomorrow. Good on you, girl. Thankred, I bid
believe the honor of responding should rightfully be thine. I know better than most how much you've grown, and I have every confidence you'll make your people proud. Gods know I'm proud of you. I always will be. You deserve all the happiness in the world, and more. Might we also say a few words? Ah, Lena! And everyone. Why, this is just about all. <laughs> to see you off seemed the least we could do. You risked your all for us, fought for a realm not your own. Before you came, we had never known the beauty of the night sky. Or the joy of your company. <laughs> Though it saddens us deeply to bid you farewell, it has ever been our way to send off friends with a smile. Wherever your road should lead, we shall pray for your safety. And following your brave example, we shall continue to fight for the Crystarium. With or without us, you've always taken good care of this city. I don't doubt for a moment you'll continue to do so. I a more resilient people we have never known. As resilient and enduring as the tower that watches over you. To the last, we did not question the Exarch about his past. It is only now, when he can no longer tell us, that we believe we know the answer. We have heard what became of him, and what is about to be attempted. All will be well. Of this we are certain. How could it be otherwise, when every soul in the Crystarium is praying for it with all their heart? And so, when our Lord awakens, I bid you give him a message. Tell him he needn't worry about us. That he need no longer hide who he truly is. That he should live his own life to the fullest. And that if he should ever find himself reminiscing on the past with a smile, we shall be smiling with him. Will you tell him this? Thank you. Please look after him for us.
I dare say we have all the good wishes we can carry. Let us be on our way. Time to go. It's a long way up. <laughs> oh, man. Wind up Mistle. Modelled upon no one in particular. No, really. Zero slots remaining in your inventory. Reflections in the crystal. It's the final quest. A heart led bear Rena appears to be at peace again. We'll find out how this goes down next time. Thank you all very much for watching, folks. Uh, no long preamble on this one. I'm going to get up, stretch my legs, get some more water, and get straight into recording this next quest. Hope you've enjoyed emotional man emotional stuff see you in the next one cheerio thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video why not click the like button and consider subscribing remember you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live and until next time cheerio